close your eyes and watch your breath. Try to stay with the sensation of the breath all the way in, all the way out, and in between the breaths. Try to keep your awareness right there with the sensation of the body. Don't let it go off and start taking notes about this, that, and the other thing around you. You have to be able to separate yourself out from the other things. There's the sound of the birds, but that's not your focus right now. There's the sound of the machine out there. Don't make that your focus. And particularly any thoughts that come through the mind, don't make those your focus either. If the thoughts have to do with the breath, well, keep reminding yourself it's there to. Those thoughts are there to focus you back on where you need to be. Other thoughts you can let go. This ability to separate your thing, yourself out from other things is really important. As the Buddha said, it's the basis of all discernment. Because when you identify with something, you can't analyze it, you can't understand it, and you can't let go of it because, of course, you feel it's part of you. So I said it all comes from learning to see things as something other or something separate. You can practice as something simple like the breath or something simple like the heat today. It's going to be a hot day, another one like yesterday. And if you sit around there thinking about how hot it is, that becomes the object of your meditation. If you focus on the breath, the heat can be in the background. The heat can do its own thing, but it doesn't have to impinge on the mind. There's that old story they say about when it's not that the sound is bothering you, you're bothering the sound. Well, it's the same thing with the heat. You're not being bothered by the heat, you're bothering the heat with all your commentary on it. Okay, you want to make sure that in living in a hot climate like this, you drink plenty of water and get plenty of salt. And if you find yourself tired, well, you can lie down and meditate too. Find a quiet spot, a shady spot. In other words, you don't expose yourself unnecessarily to the heat, but there are some things that you can't escape, and that's when you have to just let them be as they are. And you realize that you have the choice. You can focus on them or you can focus on your breath. The breath has a lot more potential. There's nothing much you can do about the heat, but you can do an awful lot about the breath. So focus your attention where you're going to gain rewards, where you can actually make a difference. This too is a basic principle of discernment. The times when you exercise your goodwill and compassion and empathetic joy, and then there are times when you have to just let things go with equanimity. The things that you can't change, you'd be equanimous about those. The things you can change, you do your best to change them in a skillful direction. This is a lesson that you can carry through all stages of the meditation, and it helps in daily life as well. Issues that you can't do anything about, you just let them go and focus on things you can change, the things that you can have influence over. Make sure your influence there is skillful. <laughs>